And today I'm going straight into the topic for this live stream, which is trading the Fibonacci golden zone. So probably the first thing is to find out what the Fibonacci levels are, or they're also called the Fibonacci retracement. So that's the very first thing before we talk about the Fibonacci golden zone. So the Fibonacci, uh, the Fibonacci retracement is a method of technical analysis used to determine support and resistance. That's it. And drawing support and resistance is definitely a skill that you acquire with time. But in the meantime, whilst you're busy acquiring that skill to identify areas of support and areas of resistance, the Fibonacci retracement tool could actually help out. It basically automates the process of drawing your support and resistance lines. The Fibonacci retracement is based on the idea that markets will retrace, period. Just looking at a chart, you will identify a trend and at the same time, after a period of time, there will be a pullback and Fibonacci or the Fibonacci retracement tools tries to predict how much that pullback would be by this Fibonacci retracement tool. It's predicts a portion of that pullback. And once you can identify the fact that there will be a pullback to a certain amount, then you'll be able to stay in that trade longer or exit the trade, depending on which way you are trading. So that's very important. Personally, I use the Fibonacci retracement tool to stay in my trades longer. So I'm in a trade, it's upward trending, and then there's that pullback and it's pulling back and it's pulling back. And the question is, is it going to continue to pull back? Do I need to exit the trade? Or is it simply going to retrace a certain amount and continue on its upward trend? I know we've all been there where you've been in a trade, you see the pullback, you exit probably before your stop limit, and the minute you exit, this thing begins to move. Situations like that are pretty common. So again, with the Fibonacci retracement tools, it helps you avoid these situations. And the very third point is that the Fibonacci retracement is definitely a popular tool that technical traders use to help identify these strategic places. Uh, so where are you going to put your stop loss? Are you going to put it at the very point where it's going to be traced up to? Sure, do that and you'll be thrown out of your trade. Then the, the trade will begin to continue in its upward trend or the downward trend, depending on which way you're trading. So again, it helps you set your stop losses at certain key points. So that's it for what this Fibonacci retracement tool is. And of course, the main thing that we want to talk about today is the golden zone. And after this slide, I'm going to straight onto the charts to show you how this Fibonacci zone is used in trading. So this is my Solana and Tether chart. And these colorful levels that you see, these colorful areas, these are the Fibonacci retracement levels. They were drawn in an automated way. So I'm actually going to draw it on my next chart. But for this chart, I just want to show the golden zone. Now this chart on TradingView, when you plot it, it does show up in this colorful way. But what I have done is I have gone in and I actually, let's see if I can show. I took these numbers 
the 61.8% and the 50% levels and I turn their color to yellow intentionally so I can create this golden zone. And the golden zone falls between the 38.20% line and the 61.8% line. It's as simple as that. And it straddles the 50% line. If you look at these last three candlesticks, okay, so candlestick one, two, three, these last three candlesticks, this is what we do with this 61% line. You can see if we go further back, the candlestick to this left here, right? So basically where we have this uh, discontinued arrow here, this white arrow, you can see that the candlestick, green, this green candlestick broke above the 61.8% level. And the minute it breaks above, that is the cue. That is the point at which you know that once we can have a candlestick that closes, again, the key point is not that the candlestick enters the zone, but that the candlestick closes in the zone. And the minute it closes in the zone, we see 10 days maybe of upward moving price action after the close right here. Not a problem. Again, we're trading within the golden zone until we have price action closes outside the 61.8% price level. It closes the first day. It, that was a fake out the next day. We go back into the zone. The third day it closes. There it is again. And what happens after that? So five days of downward price action. Very interesting. So if you've now been studying the charts at this point, so let's draw, I like to use these rectangles. So now we have this area. Okay. So price action is coming and going. It's not doing anything decisive until green here decides to break back into the golden zone. So back into the golden zone. So of course, as soon as it breaks into the golden zone, that's a sign to get back into a long position and it's going to continue that way. So now price action is hanging between 61.8 and 50%. So the guarantee once you break one level is that you will run to the next level, but then there's no guarantee that we're going to break beyond the next level. So are we going to break above the 50%? That's the issue. So if you're in a trade, by the time you hit any resistance, any resistance, it's always safer to exit your trade. Professionals exit their trades on the uptick. So as price is going up, they've entered their trades at the 61%. Price is going up, heading to the next price level, the next resistance. It's time to begin to take profit because at this point, we're not sure what is going to happen because we're at another resistance. We're at the 50% price level. Well, that's all folks. I hope you've learned something from this video. And if you have, the only thing I ask is that you hit that like button, comment below because I do use your comments to better inform me of what other content to create, share with your friends and family, Make sure you subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you get my videos as soon as I upload them and I'll meet you in the next video.